Now on 12 News, making this the most wonderful time of year, how a family in Silsby stepped up and helped out someone in need. And the halls are officially decked all around the world, the ways people all over celebrated this Christmas. Plus, a tragic death on this holiday. We have the latest details from a Beaumont homicide tonight. 12 News at 10 starts now. A very Merry Christmas, guys, and Happy Holidays. I'm Kate Sauter. While they say Christmas is truly the most wonderful time of year, some people have a harder time, so it's not the case. So this year, a family in Silsby, they decided to make the holiday a lot more merry for a man who's been a little down on his luck. 12 News reporter Paris Kane, she joined in on the celebration this morning and got to learn about this special story. Meet Richard Istry. He goes by Wayne. I'm 40 years old, been in the automotive field 20 years. I've been looking for a job, been homeless for about two years now, and uh, been living life best I know how. You might recognize him as a homeless man oftentimes found hanging around the Silsby Walmart. But like everyone, he has a story. I think most people think it's drugs that made me end up here. Uh, you know, people always speculate about what it is that makes you homeless. Wayne fell on hard times about two years ago. Since he became homeless, he says he's done whatever jobs he can get. But finding something permanent has been hard. I'll take uh, any, you know, chances I can. I'm not above anything. Um, I've done everything from watching people's kids to cleaning their house, you know, mowing the grass, uh, just basically doing whatever I can to make a little bit of money. Despite being down on his luck, Wayne says he's experienced a lot of generosity over the last two years, especially from Misty Cooley and her family. Misty and her family has pretty much been one of my lifelines to the outside. It's just always been um, a passion of mine to, to just show God's love and to just serve um, any way that I can. Wayne says he spent the last two Christmases alone in his tent, but this year he got to spend it with the entire Cooley family. Every little interaction helps, you know, especially something like this when they invite me into their home to have Christmas with them. It's, it's been awesome. We all have a story. None of us are perfect and, you know, we all fall on hard times and sometimes are harder for others than the next person and, you know, we have been blessed and so we give back whenever we can or however we can. Misty I first met Wayne more than a year ago. He just really touched my heart because whenever I asked him if he needed anything, his response was some company. Over time, the two developed a strong friendship. So when Christmas came around, Misty decided she wanted to bless Wayne. She reached out on Facebook and invited others to help make sure he had a Merry Christmas. God's love is, is bigger than anything else, and so I just appreciate the people that did come through and the people that did help. It makes me feel you know, like there's hope that people out there do care. People gifted Wayne things like blankets, pillows, camping supplies, food, and even some items that were hand knitted. He's grateful to those who not only helped out today, but over the last year. It's been a real blessing this year. If it hadn't been for all these people's comments, I wouldn't have made it this far. In Selsby, Paris Kane, 12 News. What an amazing story. Wayne is also in need of food and water. And he could use a bit more winter clothes for the cold season. If you're interested in helping him out, head over to 12newsnow.com for info on how to get in touch with him. Today, about 60 volunteers helped out at some other place. 209 homes had meals delivered right to them on this Christmas. 178 people were fed at the actual location off Center Street in Beaumont. Christmas Day is always a big day for the outreach group, but it's not just today. The group is always looking for volunteers to help out year-round. Guys, the halls are officially decked around the world and we're seeing traditions old and new as Christmas comes to a close. Thousands descended upon the town of Bethlehem, the traditional birthplace of Jesus. Pope Francis led a Christmas Eve mass at St. Peter's Basilica. Over in Australia, crowds there, they opted for some beach and some sunshine. And here at home, President Trump and First Lady Melania, they went to a Southern Baptist service in Florida. Now in Australia, they celebrated on the beach, up in the north by making snowmans, down here in Southeast Texas, humidity and some rain on the way definitely not a white Christmas but James <laughs> Brown is in our storm tracker center with what exactly we can expect coming up let's see we've had white Christmases since let's see I'm 59 so that was Oof. maybe three times 
with that much snow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not going to see that, uh, of course, for this season, but we could see some uh, very warm temperatures as we head into the weekend. Also, some possible fog overnight tonight, and we continue to look for some cloud covers. We'll call it partly cloudy overnight tonight. Again, with southerly winds increasing off the Gulf, that's going to increase our humidity, increase our moisture levels, and that means we could see some patchy fog toward tomorrow morning. In the meantime, it is 61 up in Jasper, 59 in Woodville, 57 in Beaumont, Silsby, and in Port Arthur, 58 over in Orange. Expecting a little possible fog in the morning, but uh, looking for highs to be back into the lower 70s for tomorrow afternoon. Another day without rain, but rain returns by the weekend. I'll give you all the details coming up. Tonight, one man is dead after police say he was killed early this Christmas morning in the Charlton Pollard neighborhood. 12 News reporter Jordan Foster joins us from the Beaumont Police Department with what we know so far. Jordan. On a day that's supposed to bring joy, one family woke up to news this morning that a family member wouldn't be joining them this Christmas season. Beaumont police found 52-year-old Marvin Sims dead near the intersection of Shamrock Avenue and Tilson Street. This all happened around 1230 Christmas morning. Crime scene tape in front of that house shows exactly where his body was lying. Neighbors who lived nearby told us they knew Sims and had no idea why anyone would want to kill him. Authorities still have not said how Sims was killed, but they're hoping autopsy results can give clues as to what happened. His death brings the city of Beaumont's homicide total to 18 this year. And tonight, that killer is still on the loose. Police are asking anyone with any information to call Crime Stoppers at 833-TIPS. In Beaumont, Jordan Foster, 12 News. Tonight, a mother is in jail after leading authorities on a chase through Chambers County with a three-year-old in the front seat. Last night, Chambers County deputies conducted a traffic stop along Highway 99. The mother, Trisha Plake, allegedly took the child without consent and then refused to get out of the car when deputies pulled her over. That's when Plake fled the scene and led authorities on a chase. Now, eventually, deputies did stop the car and they took her into custody. Thankfully, the child is safe and now home with family. A man is on the run after deputies say he shot and killed his ex-girlfriend at a Christmas party in Northwest Harris County. Authorities say 52-year-old Albert Simon barged into a home near the Houston National Golf Club last night. The sheriff's office says Simon barged in, grabbed his ex, and shot her several times. Investigators found a handgun in the yard, but believe Simon is still armed and dangerous. A murder warrant for Simon has been issued. In Washington now, President Trump and the First Lady released a holiday greeting this morning, but the joy did not carry over into the impeachment battle. The president and his allies are slamming House Speaker Nancy Pelosi for withholding articles of impeachment from the Senate. That could delay the president's Senate trial. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell does not expect the two sides to come to an agreement until after lawmakers return from recess on January 6th. Now in Paris, the rector of Notre Dame Cathedral says the landmark is still so fragile after this year's fire that it might not be able to be saved entirely. And reconstruction work, it probably won't even start until 2021. He says experts must first remove scaffolding that was on the cathedral before the fire because the scaffolding is threatening the vaults. It was also a sad day because the traditional Christmas service was not held at the cathedral for the first time this year in more than 200 years. After the break, from a deep freeze, tornadoes, hurricanes, measles, and more, historic spacewalks, and unforgettable scandals. We'll have a look at the top headlines of 2019 next. And I know most of you still have probably several more days off. You want to know what the weather's going to be like? I'll give it to you. Break it down in just a moment. Now we know most of you tonight are spending time with family and loved ones, but as the year draws to an end, we'd like to take a look back at the major events that made the headlines of 2019. 66 below. This is Siberian weather. Take a look in front of us. That's all you see. The coldest in a generation. This is something that you see often here in Buffalo. 
not this bad. That horrific tornado that hit Beauregard, Alabama. We lost children, mothers, fathers. You can see what it's doing here. Dorian, the most powerful storm ever to hit the Bahamas. Please pray for us. The devastation here is breathtaking. Demonstrators taking to the streets to combat climate change. You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. Massive fires tearing through Southern California. It's coming this way. We're going to get out. The Kincaid Fire. Evacuations are not suggestions. You are in the path of danger. The Tick Fire burns out of control. I saw the roof on fire. I mean, you just, you're not going to stop it. The Getty Fire racing towards some of the most expensive real estate. We got to get out. The measles outbreak right now hopefully is a wake-up call. A 25-year high. One person can expose thousands of people. Don't vape unless you want to end up in the hospital. 19 deaths associated with the use of vaping products. The new Boeing 737 crashing minutes after takeoff in Ethiopia. To ground all flights of the 737 MAX 8 and 9. Bitty, bitty, bitty. I can't breathe. 34 people died during this massive boat fire. Burning, drowning, while inhaling smoke. Five years after the choking death of Eric Gardner. NYPD officer Daniel Pantaleo will not face federal charges. Pantaleo needs to be fired! Officer Pantaleo is dismissed from the department. Officer Amber Geiger shot and killed both of them John inside of his own home. It's just been the most terrible time. Amber Geiger guilty of murder. This verdict is for them. 13-year-old Jamie Claus found alive. That big hug that I haven't had for 88 days. A college admissions cheating scandal that's rocked the country. Do you plan to fight this? Felicity Huff been sentenced to 14 days in prison. Actress Lori Loughlin says she's not guilty. Multi-millionaire Jeffrey Epstein charged with sex trafficking. 66-year-old died by suicide. I really wanted justice. Prince Andrew taking a break from his royal duties after scrutiny over the interview about his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. There's a shooting at the synagogue. Please be quiet. Please be quiet. I don't want the shooter to know that we're here. I was centimeters away from death. Shot for a second war. Carnage at a Virginia Beach municipal building. We were all just terrified. It was a long-term gun battle. Shots rang out at the Gilroy Garlic yeah. Festival. It has to be someone really sick shining a kid. Downtown Dayton erupting in chaos. Deadly chaos in El Paso. Tragic events will not destroy us. Conditions at those migrant detention centers. It is unacceptable for a 16-year-old child to die of the flu. The government shut down the longest in American history. I haven't been paid in over 33 days. Special counsel Robert Mueller has completed the Russia investigation. Charging the president with a crime was not an option. A whistleblower complaint sparking outrage. No quid pro quo. House of Representatives is moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. Article 1 is adopted. President Trump becoming the third president in U.S. history to be impeached. Stepping into North Korea, a first for an American president. A lot of progress has been made. North Korea fired off more projectiles. American forces withdrawing from northern Syria. See the black smoke trails from Turkish artillery rising. U.S. special forces in Syria taking down the ruthless leader of ISIS, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. He died after running into a dead-end tunnel, whimpering and crying and screaming. A massive blaze ravaged historic Notre Dame cathedral just a nightmare terror breaks out in new zealand gunmen opened fire at two mosques an extraordinary act of violence nearly 300 killed and at least 500 wounded in bombings in Sri Lanka on Easter Sunday. Tensions mounting in Hong Kong between police and protesters who are showing no sign of backing down. One of the most beautiful cities in the world underwater. Venice hit by the worst floods in half a century. We lose artistic treasures that we're never going to get back. A giddy Duke and Duchess of Sussex presenting Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. I have the two best guys in the world, so I'm really happy. Thousands celebrating a monumental moment from 50 years ago. The angle has landed. One giant leap for women in space. Hello, United States. The first all-female spacewalk. It's been a long line of female scientists. We have followed in their footsteps. Wow, so it's definitely been an unforgettable year. A lot of bad news, but a lot of good news, too. James, we were talking about that. There's been a lot of news this year. We've forgotten about a lot of it, but there was there was definitely some good news in there as well. Do you have good news for weather? I do. If you okay. like it nice and mild, you're going to get mild. another couple of days of it. But okay. if you like it cold, 
tropical Christmas vacation. I had on my Hawaiian, <laughs> actual from Hawaii, mm -hmm. Hawaiian Christmas Santa Claus shirt wow. today. Wow, and you didn't wear it on air for us? No, but I, I tweeted it. Okay, is Twitter new for you? Yeah, Yeah. it's very new for well, me. Well, we, we respect your effort. And you have been wearing your Christmas ties every day this, this month. This is the last the one. The last one. And this wasn't the mm -hmm. one you wanted to wear, right? You wanted to wear a more green one? Well, but... no, I had I had a, a poinsettia tie, mm -hmm. but because when the magic part about weather is doing it in front of the green screen. Yeah. You know, yes. everybody's seen that, so I would key out. Cut you out. Yeah. Oh, well. Let me okay, guys, it wouldn't be the holidays without some football, right? We'll have a breakdown next on 409 Sports. Well... I look like I love Christmas, but I'm not a fan of the cold. So, oh, so you like it when it's mild like this? I do. It's I been do. very pleasant, though. Okay, before we go, we do have a Christmas story, of course, to wrap it up. 12 Florida families got a special delivery today, a furry new friend. At an animal shelter, if you buy a shelter pup, you can get the Christmas special. It includes a personal delivery of the puppy from Santa and his elves. The shelter's Christmas Day program has grown over the last three years, and they hope to continue to do it in the future. This wow. is adorable. Yes. I'm actually getting a puppy in a couple months, and I'm very excited. We got a puppy for Christmas by oh, Santa this one is a year. Great Christmas. Yeah. We hope you all have a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a very Happy New Year.